This is the first. Look who we have here. I talked a little basketball before, I believe. A little, little something, something. A little something. First time we have the pro, the sports director, the man, the myth, the legend, Ashley Elam is yes. in the building. It's always great to be here. You know why I you're here? I took the journey here. You took the journey here. All the way from the Because New this week we are celebrating National Tailgate Day. We know mm -hmm. why. You know, football, football. seasons in the football. house. Cardinals this week. Got the cards representing. So we wanted to give you guys some tips. How to make your tailgate the most popping in the parking lot. Because we know some people just go to the games for the tailgate. Some people never make it in the stadium. They never make it in the stadium. If so. you're going to Lamar game, make it in the stadium, please. We need please. you in the stadium. Please. All <laughs> right. Let's start with tip number one. You cannot have a party without food. Get yourself a portable grill. Make sure you have the propane gas or the charcoal. What else you need out there, Ash? If you're talking about food, you want to do something interesting, okay? Yeah, okay. We, we don't want just hot dogs and hamburgers. Do something that's locally, you know, like here, boudin. You got to get some boudin. What about boudin on a stick? Boudin on a stick. Yeah. That will work, you know. <laughs> uh, when it gets a little cooler, have some gumbo out there. You yeah. know, change it up. You want a local flavor. You don't I want something you can get that. in the concession stand. And see, my thing is don't forget the little things, the cups, the plates, the forks, the knives. I also have a little tip. If you want your seasonings mm -hmm. and you don't bring, want to bring your whole cabinet, right. use a little empty Tic Tac bottle. Put your seasoning in there, pop it in your bag, put it on your burger, and you got Sounds what like you she's need. done this a time or two. Time or two. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to number two. Label your coolers. Oh, that's very important. Okay, why? Well, because some coolers are just for ice, right? Yeah. And you don't want everybody's hands in these things and stuff like that. <laughs> this is this is the type of stuff that you go, you want to scoop your cup in or maybe have like a spoon for the ice. Because yeah. ice can get nasty throughout the day if people are just reaching in with their hands. Only ice with the canned drinks separately. You want your canned drinks And the adult bevs separate too. That's you don't right. want the kids mixing no, and matching no, and mingling. No, because things can get confusing and uh, some things do look like kid drinks, mm -hmm. but they're not. They're not. No. All right, so label the coolers. Number three, I didn't even think about this one, but bring jumper cables. This is another big one. Okay, how many times have you seen cars go dead? So many times. <laughs> you know, you don't notice it like during the party, but when you try to leave in the afternoon, you see yeah. all the cars sitting still in the parking lot, it's because they've had the radio going all day. Exactly. It's always great to have a portable radio, and they make those great ones on the wheels now. Some of them are even coolers. That way you don't drain your battery. If you're going to play your car all day, guess what? You're not leaving the stadium when you want what to. What an amazing tip. All right, so I want to know. Folks are heading out the stadium. They're blasting the music. What you want to hear this season? Anything but Old Town Road. Please don't play that. <laughs> I was literally going Please to say Old Town Road. don't play that. No more Old Town Road. It's been played. It's been overplayed. Change it up. Switch so it I, up, I like folks. a hip-hop playlist on game day. I do too. It gets you high. It gets you feel a little going, something. Right? Shoulder bouncing. Huh? All right. Last thing. Make a checklist, guys. It's so exciting on game day, but there are so many little things you can probably forget. Um, top of your head, what do, what do you think is something that needs to be on that checklist? Well, for me, in my my college days, uh -huh. maybe a little older, I'm going to have to have my, you know, my solo cups because oh, there's yeah. going to be a little, <laughs> little pong being played out there. you got to play a little beer pong. Okay, and it's I like the there. marker that's in the picture behind us because if you run out of solo cups, put your name on it. Right. Use your own cup all night. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Little things. The little Trash things. bags for the end of the night. You don't want to be the slob. Don't be the slob in the parking lot that leaves all your stuff there. That's horrible. All right, where are we hanging out this week for football, Ash? Well, this week, our game of the week, we're going to be heading out to the artist formerly known as the Orange Bowl. It's <laughs> LCM at West Orange Stark. And I can tell you, over there, they have some great food, usually turkey legs. Ooh. Turkey legs out in the parking lot. And I've been known to eat a, a few of those when I get So a on chance. your checklist, add foil paper in a to-go box because I like one of okay, those turkey okay. legs and on your way back. And then don't forget, Saturday at home, uh, Lamar playing Mississippi Valley State. Good stuff.